Welcome to you, Council. Based on the inquiries that I had been receiving lately from employees and various employers, um, I believe there is some confusion about the right of an employer to temporarily lay off an employee. So I wanted to post a lecture about this. Although we had posted a lecture on this topic back in 2017, which is still available, but there is some additional information in this lecture. Sure. As usual, we begin with our disclaimer that this lecture is not legal advice. So if you have any specific questions regarding your issues, you should contact a lawyer or a paralegal or the Law Society of Ontario for a referral. In today's lecture, we'll explain the difference between layoff, which is termination, and temporary layoff. We'll talk about um, under what circumstances can an employer temporarily lay off someone's employment, and then what to do if someone is laid off temporarily and, and that temporary layoff is unlawful, and then what are the entitlements on a temporary layoff. Now, a lot of people, when they are terminated from their employment, they use this term uh, they say that I have been laid off. So technically, normal people say that, but legally speaking, that is not an appropriate term. When an employment has ended completely, that is termination or dismissal or severance of employment. But what is important to note is that in that case, the end of employment is permanent. You're not going back to that employer after a certain period, if their business improves or coronavirus ends or whatever. This is a, this is a final uh, com and a complete uh, severance of ties with that employer. So that that is essentially termination, which is different than layoff, which is a temporary layoff thing. And by temporary, it is mean it means that there is a temporary interruption in your employment. You are still an employee. Employment has not ended. In uh, under Employment Standards Act, the temporary layoff could be up to 13 weeks in in 20 consecutive weeks. Or in certain circumstances, it could be up to 35 weeks in 52 consecutive weeks. So that is the length of the temporary layoff. And if the employer does not recall an employee within that time period, then that temporary layoff automatically becomes termination of employment and triggers termination of employment rights. So temporary layoff is slightly different than the layoff that we normally use, which is the end of employment. Now, can my employer temporarily lay off my employment? The answer is yes and no. And so in scenario number one, there is a specific right, there is a specific clause in your employment contract that allows the employer to temporarily lay off an employee in certain circumstances. Or if you're a unionized employee, then it should be in your collective agreement. Or there has been past practice. So for example, if you work in a factory and during downturns, the, the, the factory uh, lays off certain employees and it happens all the time, you have been laid off previously, then in those specific circumstances, the employer does have a right to temporarily lay off employees. And that would apply in, in today's world where coronavirus, because of coronavirus, the businesses may be slow and, you, and, and your employer may not have sufficient work. But if there is no specific right in the employment contract or on the basis of past practice, then the employer does not have an automatic right to temporarily lay off an employee. So if an employer does that, then essentially the argument from the employee side is that this is triggering the termination. So by sending me away, even though you are saying that we are temporarily laying you off, because the employer does not have that right, that can potentially trigger the termination rights for that employee. Okay, so then if you are temporarily laid off and it is unlawful because the employer does not have that right, then what do you do? You essentially have three options. Number one is that you accept the temporary layoff, right? And so you do nothing. Uh, and by doing nothing, you mean you do not dispute the employer, you do not challenge the employer's decision. And then you go and apply your EI or Canada Emergency Relief Benefits and whatnot. And, and, but the problem with that is that then in that case, what you're risking is the change of term in your employment agreement. Essentially, by accepting that temporary layoff, if there is another scenario, different scenario, not necessarily a pandemic situation, but an employer's business may be, uh, may be slow for some other reason, then the employer now potentially has a right to temporarily lay you off again, because now by accepting a temporary layoff, it has become a past practice, and then the employer can use that in a different scenario. Option number two is you dispute. You challenge the employer, you say, 
that you do not have the right to temporarily lay me off based on my employment contract. So then what do you do? Then essentially what you're saying is that by temporarily laying me off, you are terminating my employment. So therefore, give me my termination rights, whether it's termination pay, severance pay, and or reasonable notice. These are three different scenarios um, in combination or separate that you may be entitled to. And therefore, you know, you need to give me that money. Now, the difficulty was that is that if the employer disputes that, if the employer is not willing to make you payment uh, or for the severance because either the employer does not have sufficient money because of the economic situations, then you are in a potential legal fight. And if you know anything about courts these days, the courts are working sort of on a reduced scale because of the environment, because of the, the circumstances of coronavirus. And so courts are dealing with emergency matters. So it may take a long time for you to resolve your dispute uh, a legal dispute with your employer. And so now, aside from worrying about your health issues and, and other circumstances, now you're, uh, you are um, stressed out about a potential legal fight with an employer. There could be a third option. Not a lot of people have talked about it. I believe that this is possible, which is that you agree on a one-time basis with your employer. So this is a without prejudice basis. Essentially, the agreement between the two parties, employer and the employee, in writing is on a without prejudice basis that considering the circumstances, the health environment, the, the, the outbreak of coronavirus, we both are agreeing that there is no uh, change in the employment terms. This is one time exception uh, because of this dire circumstances of the situation, but the employment rights are not changing. And therefore, you are preserving your rights uh, that you are, you are saying that the employer, you the employer, you do not have any future right, whether it's because of a pandemic or another issue, but my employment contract is not changing. I'm retaining my right. I'm just making this one time exception. And I believe that if there is a written agreement between employer and employee, that agreement will be honored by the courts. Let's talk about entitlements. So essentially, you have two kinds of entitlements. One is to apply for Canada Emergency Response Benefits, and I have a separate lecture. You get $2,000 per month up to 16 weeks, and that lecture was posted yesterday. By all means, check that out. Um, but, these but these are the benefits that you may get uh, with respect to the temporary layoff or, or, temp or permanent end of employment. Or uh, and or you apply the for employment insurance benefits, which are regular benefits. And again, your temporary layoff is up to 13 weeks in, in 20 consecutive weeks or 35 weeks in 52 consecutive weeks. So during this time, you will get your employment insurance regular benefits. But remember that if the at the end of 13 weeks or by 13 weeks, the employer does not recall you, then essentially that uh, temporary layoff turns into termination. And in some circumstances, there are specific conditions in employment Standards Act where the temporary layoff could be up to 35 weeks. And so in for those employees, if the employer does not recall within 35 weeks, then that temporary layoff turns into termination of employment. But there, but with respect to applying for benefits, I've posted two separate lectures. So by all means, check those out. So I hope that this clarifies the rights and obligations with respect to temporary layoff and what are some of the things that employees can do to preserve their rights. Or if the employer does have right, how do you uh, proceed with, with respect to obtaining your benefits? Now, one final point that I wanted to add was that in, in certain circumstances, even though the employer may not have a right to terminate, the government can enact a statute or enforce a statute such as Emergencies Act, which basically orders the employers to shut down their business. Now, that decision is really not you know, made by the employer. It essentially is flowing from, a, from the application of a specific legislation. And in that case, then even if there is no right in this specific contract, the employer, by virtue of that statute, may still be able to temporarily lay you off. So hopefully this clarifies uh, the issue. I, you're welcome to post your questions and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.